Hey guys, it's Lauren, our amateur beauty guru. How are you guys? Um, I have a t nail tutorial for you guys today. It is going to look like this. The one right in the middle. If you can see that. Because tomorrow is 4th of July. So, um, yeah, I hope you can tell. It's fireworks and red, white, and blue. Perfect and patriotic. If you do not live in the United States, Fourth of July is um, a holiday just saying thank you to our troops that we have here. So um, to get started, what you'll need is a base coat, of course, to protect your nails. You, you will also be needing a white nail polish, and the white one I'm going to be using is Alpine Snow. Next, you'll be needing a red. This isn't the purest red I have. It's more of a orangey red, but it will do. And I'm using Cajun Shrimp by OPI. And then you'll be needing a um, blue. And I'm using this blue that I dislike because how hard it is to get off your nails and it stains. But since we're using a little bit, it's by Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Um, hard as nails, and it's Blew Me Away. Then just take a... Um, top coat and I've been wanting to use my OPI one but for some reason I can't find it at the moment so I'm using Sally Hansen's Super Shine Shiny Top Coat. So first what we want to do is put your base coat on but the thing is this doesn't need a base coat but don't skip that step please um, do that first and then once you got that let's put the white on. So you do as many coats as you want um, I do about two with the white. I did about two coats now. And so now for the fireworks part. You can either use a toothpick or like me, I'm using this little tool here. It's not very much in focus. Oh, that's okay. But it's just a little um, tool I got from Sally Hansen, not Sally Hansen, Sally's Beauty Supply. And it was about $5, 5 to $6, I can't remember. But it comes very in handy. So what am I going to do with a little note card here? Um, I'm going to take my red first, and we're going to be go alternating between them two just a few times, like two times. I'm just going to get a dab here, just a little puddle. Put it to the side but where you can reach it and then then I'm just going to dip it in. I know that's not very much in focus but that's okay. And in the bottom right corner, now this view is if you had your nails like this, okay? So, in this bottom right hand corner, what I'm going to do is make almost like a flower in a way. And I'm just going to go like this. I'm trying to make a firework and just extend out. We want to make about five of them. And they want to be a little bit curved, like so. That one kind of messed up because I got too close in the middle, but not all are perfect. So that's the start of it. Then you're just going to make little tiny ones. Now these don't have to be perfect at all because we're going to go over them with the blue. Okay, so that's how our first one's going to turn out. Now we're going to alternate to the blue. Is get my blue and do the same thing I did with the red. Just put it in a little puddle there. Then with it, we're going to make another firework right diagonally up here. It absolutely does not have to be perfect.
and it can go off the nail if you want. Then take the blue again, just do the little lines. Oops. Okay. And then since they're not as close as the reds, I'll just extend them inwards a little bit. I know that firework does not look the best, but that's okay. Then I'm just going to take my blue, go back to the red here, and just kind of with the small go over the small ones. And then, we're just going to make little dots everywhere, it doesn't matter. Like, don't do them in a specific order, also it would just look too perfect. Dip it in again. And do the same thing you just did with the blue. And then do little dots everywhere. And then there you go. Now, it seems to me that the first one turned out a little better. The one right in the middle there. And that one. But not all of them are going to be the same, which is okay. And you're just going to do that to every one of your nails. And then when you're done, with all your nails, this this pattern, you're going to take your top coat, if you can see that, I know it's magnetized there, and just put it over once it's dry so it doesn't smear. And then you got your perfect 4th of July nails. I hope you like this tutorial. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm not showing my face, would you like to see my face? Okay. I will show you my face. So this is why I'm not showing my face. Yeah, I have a awesome face mask on right now. Um, the Lush one, if you would like to see my Lush review, my Lush face, mac face mask review, click right there. Right there, yep. And I just got into a British accent, but click right there. And um, yeah, I hope you like this video. I know you can't take me seriously now because of my face mask. But I hope you like this video. Have a great 4th of July, whoever's celebrating 4th of July. Um, go check out my other videos. Go check out my channel. Um, so the subscribe button will be right there, I hope, I think. Yeah. Um, right there. Click it. Click it. Click it. Um, so, yeah, I hope you like this, like I said. Um, what else? Go check out my other videos. Go check out my channel. Subscribe if you would like to. That would be amazing. And, um... I have a little thing right there. Awesome. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.